When Heather first came to Demos 10 years ago, um, immediately you could see that this was a woman of fierce intelligence and just strong commitment to social justice. The Demos that you know today is in large part due to Heather's growing leadership and influence in the organization. She has increasingly taken on the role as mentor, strategic leader, thought partner to all of us here at Demos. And there is no doubt in my mind that the whole staff is just so excited that Heather McGee will be the next president of Demos. She's uh, really one of the most extraordinary leaders I have ever met. She is passionate about justice and democracy. She's a broad and creative thinker with a real sense of strategy and vision. She's a wonderful public spokesperson for the movement and she's a wonderful internal organizer caring as much about how we do what we do as what we do. Heather is just a phenomenal communicator. Whether she's at the podium talking to 600 activists or at the news desk of one of the major cable news networks, you know, Heather has this ability to really connect to people. Well, we're at a critical moment in our country's history. Uh, racial equality, economic equality, and an inclusive democracy are really front and center in the nation's public debate. And Demos is terrifically poised to really play a critical part in that debate. We're strong, our work has been excellent, our internal health is good, and frankly, in Heather McGee, we have the absolute right and best person to lead us into the future. I am deeply honored that the Demos board and staff and our allies have entrusted me with the leadership of this extraordinary institution. And I'm deeply grateful to Miles Rappaport, who's been a friend and a mentor and who's shown me and Demos and the entire progressive movement what truly effective and humble leadership looks like for the past 13 years. I think that we are on the verge of something new and wonderful in America. Ours is a country where the ancestral lines of all of the world's communities have met and been offered the audacious promise that out of many, we could become one people. Of course, we've never met that promise, and in fact, we too often forget that that is the promise. But I believe that our generation, the largest, most diverse, most progressive and communitarian generation in America's history, will be the one to see that promise fulfilled, if democracy is allowed to exist. But democracy is not inevitable. Today, we have something very different. We have inequality, political inequality, racial inequality, and economic inequality. And that's where Demos comes in. Demos must be an essential part of the movement to bring that progressive future closer by unleashing our democracy and giving a new generation the degree of economic freedom that is a predicate for true citizenship. Together, we must create the kind of America where we all have an equal say in our democracy and an equal chance in our economy. It's a big goal, but we must achieve it, and we can. I believe that we can because for the past 13 years, Demos has been going into the halls of power and bringing the voices and dreams and lived realities of millions of Americans and changing the laws and policies that shape opportunity. But we've never done it alone. We've always done it in partnership. And that's why I'm asking you at this moment of leadership transition at Demos to join us. I'm eager to hear your thoughts and ideas for how we can create an America that the people truly deserve.